Welcome back, guys. You know the drill. Um, here we are. This is more Moab prep. Today, I am messing with the truck. I'm getting the truck done. Um, I am in a crunch time. If you watched the other episode, I mentioned that the G35, my clutch went out in it. So I have to use my truck as a daily driver. So that bumps up. We're less than two weeks away from Moab. I've got work to do on the truck. Um, brakes, rear end, uh, there's a radiator coming. Uh, I'll explain all those things as I go and I replace stuff, but it's really crunch time. So um, today is probably my last known day off, full day off before the trip. So two weeks, I'm gonna be basically just stuck at work. So knowing the drill, merchandise link below, help support your favorite channel. Uh, give us a subscribe, hit the like button, um, drop us a comment, share a video, share it with your family, share it with friends. But here we go. I'm going to go through some of the details of stuff that I'm working on the truck today. So one thing, I guess, as safety and security, I went to go check the rear end. Um, I know that it's had a small leak for as long as I've owned the truck. I've neglected it. I've not changed the fluid or anything out in it. But I noticed that it had leaked. I had not ever changed the fluid or checked it. So I decided that while the parts store had the gasket in stock, it would be a good time to go ahead and do that. It's a little inexpensive. I know the fluid is kind of expensive, but yeah, it's because safety and security. I don't see anything wrong in it. Uh, I'm gonna check and make sure there's no play in it after I get done with the front brakes. But I did figure it to be a good time to clean up the diff cover. I wanted to get an aftermarket diff cover, but really don't see the point in it right now. It's not in the budget. The factory one is sufficient for the maximum payload of the vehicle. So when I pulled it off, I was cleaning all the grease and grime off of it and noticed that some of the paint was coming off too. Uh, and there was some surface rust spots. So I cleaned it off hit it with some aircraft stripper, stripped all the stuff off of it. So I've been working on just throwing some basic spray paint over it. Um, scuffed the metal up pretty good, laid down some Rust-Oleum primer, some Rust-Oleum red, and I put a couple coats on it, and I'm gonna throw some clear coat on it. I'm not really worried about the bugs and dust and stuff that'll get in it. Don't have to be perfect. It's just something that kind of stands out a little bit underneath the truck, helps me identify my truck. From coming from the back if I didn't already know it um, just something kind of cool little accent while I'm in there I go ahead and do it because I probably won't have to touch this rear end fingers crossed for you know a very long time you know if I do then it'll probably be a different kind of rear end but anyways so on to the next step so the front brakes um, I replaced the brakes the the rotors and the hubs on this thing probably uh 2018 maybe well the rotors on on the two-wheel drive version the rotors and the hubs are all one that's one assembly uh one ton hubs uh, if you don't know about the the hubs and stuff of the, of the dodges on the two-wheel drives it's all one piece well when i got brand new rotors and brand new hubs there was uh, the rotors themselves were warped, so they've always had that vibration to them a little bit. Um, nobody around here, um, except for like one machine shop that I know of, has the capability of turning these, like regular rotors. They don't have the equipment. So I've just stuck it out. It wasn't that bad. Well, the pads that I was using was um, from AutoZone. I can't remember what their specific big brand is, but it was heavy-duty towing pads. I love those pads. They never submitted to heat, um, could really slow the truck down. The only problem was, is their pads would kind of like grenade, you know, there's one pad and just all of a sudden it would go out. So it went out, they covered it under warranty, um, scuffed the rotor up a little bit. I got it in a day, but then it happened again years later pad went out same side same rotor um the bad part was on that point was is i was headed out of town to picket state park i had to drive with it like that i had to make the sacrifice and AutoZone would not cover them under warranty anymore 
because they no longer made them and i'm guessing that's why they got discontinued so as a quick measure i ordered some power stop towing pads and toasted those things right away i don't know if there was just an extensive break-in period on them but they really suck they get hot they get weak and right now when i hit the brakes the whole steering wheel does this shit right here so it gets really bad so i am going to go through and replace all the rotors brand new bearings um calipers i have brand new calipers i got power stop calipers um i got both uh one for each side i got brand new lines i got rail best towing pads now heavy duties for this truck and i got their slotted rotors i do not see a side specification or side specific on these it was not labeled on the box they are not labeled on the rotor so i'm going to assume that it doesn't matter these are rail best too got all this stuff off of rock auto got my bearings for um uh, o'reilly's so i'm gonna try these out considering that um traffic is getting a lot worse day by day and people are driving uh, agreeably a lot of people across the board people are driving really stupid especially when you're towing stuff uh, at heavy loads um, at higher speeds interstate or in the roadway and stuff and you gotta put the brakes on everybody knows from a truck's perspective takes us a lot longer to stop especially if we got a lot more weight behind us so safety of others safety for myself big trip we're gonna go ahead and get these brakes knocked out so here we go well it started coming a big storm on me possible tornado hurricane here so i took that chance to move inside knocked in my back wheel bearings and my seals i got those all packed in and it stopped raining for a little bit wind kicked up set me up a cool canopy for a minute try to keep the rain off of me because i knew i was gonna have to work in it but i got one caliper swapped out uh, i did a hot swap kind of i put the line to the caliper and then disconnected it, all of this and the line and everything that way i wouldn't lose a bunch of fluid got it tightened up to where it won't leak so here's the rotor i was talking about it's it's cooked you can see the definition of how bad it's wore down the back not so much because it was a front pad that gave out so here's the other pads this one's kind of eat up pretty bad because it had to ride out the force of that front one and it's chewed up rather well the back one you can tell that it's gotten really hot but i don't know i probably want to ever use power stop towing pads again um, but i'll look at the other side and see how it does so i'm going to go ahead and get this one swapped off get that one put on bearings pack get this wheel done and then go to the other side and knock it out now if you've never done brakes on one of these trucks before it's really really simple it's actually as an easier uh, brake job so there is no bracket it's actually part of the knuckle so you got two bolts that run through here and i want to run through here uh, that bolts into the knuckle and those right there is what your bolts look like it's pretty easy the only struggle part is is whenever you go to pull it off if you've been on the brakes it's really tight to pull off the two pads so you'll have to get you a hammer and just kind of work it out the top the bottom the top the bottom because there is like a s angled at the top and the bottom of where the rotor seats down in there so you got to kind of finesse it out or you can crack the bleeder screw or take the line loose and get you a um, clamp and clamp on it and kind of compress those pads a little bit i apologize if there's wind noise i got my wind thingy on the gopro but i don't know how much of it's stopping i can't hear what i'm saying so I'm going to get this knocked out, show you guys what it looks like after I get it all done, and then I'll move to the other side. My GoPro died, so I had to go get my, use my phone camera. So the rotors themselves and stuff is on. All the hubs, I got everything tightened down. All the new bearings, calipers went on fine. Extremely easy, new pads, ain't got to try them out yet. One thing I did notice is the new rotor 
didn't come with the ABS ring. So, ABS light comes on anyways, and I don't think it ever worked. So I just went ahead and took my dust cover off because there's a lot of dirt and stuff in there and took the ABS sensor out. It actually was cracked. So I took all that out. Um, I'm going to hang on to it, but for right now, I'll just remove it. Kind of help cut down on some of the heat. Uh, it's supposed to be a dust cover, but it's not very big. It doesn't do a lot of good. So I'm going to move over to the other side. I'm letting this one gravity bleed itself for right now. And move over to the other side and knock it out. Well, I was working on this side and I got the line here loose. I got it loose on the back of here and then I got to looking. Of course, Rock Auto strikes again. So I've got this one. I don't know why it's got two ports. I don't understand what that would go to. I'm going to assume maybe it would have something to do with that one, but I ordered the right one, I think, but I don't get in contact with them. I guess for right now, this line gets to stay, so I'm going to continue knocking this off. I'm still going to replace this and all of this, all the pads and everything, but I won't be replacing this line right now. So this one right here gets knocked out in record time. Cause it's been lightning and thundering and stuff out there so I'm letting this one gravity bleed right now I've got everything set brand new bearings everything's packed pads rotors except for that line right there I went ahead and took off the shielding and that sensor sensors bad don't need it I'll revisit that at a later date so the next step of the process is I am going to see if my diff cover is cured and then I'm going to bleed my brakes and hopefully be done with the truck on this round. Well guys, that's going to end out this video. Um, storm rolled in. I started to hurry up and get everything knocked out real quick before this big thunder and storm rolled in. Had a bunch of lightning and stuff coming in with it. So I got the diff fluid put in. Or well the, the cover back on got it sealed up and put I think three and a half of uh, 7590 in there had the anti-friction material in it roll purple so hopefully I won't have to touch that for a very long time also you got the front brakes bled did it with the truck off and then did it with the truck on because it's a power brake system uh, took it for a drive here in the rain Seemed all right. Everything seems cool, so I'm driving it tomorrow because, yet again, the G's broke, so I can't take it to work, so I'll have to be riding the truck right now. Watch it storm. I just missed some of that lightning. The garage is back in a mess. The garage is back in a mess. The cabinet fell off the wall, dumped shit everywhere. Uh, right now, I'm getting all my tools and stuff cleaned up from where I was working on everything in the rain Because I had to work on the stuff in the rain Due to the fact that I had to have it done tonight before in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything together all of these tools because I have this big tool pack kit right here uh, That I picked up I take it on road trips with me but it got wet in the storm, so I'm going to get it all cleaned up. Um, Dustin was here earlier helping me out. Um, getting all this done and organized and stuff. Get all my tools and stuff organized. Start preparing my tools and stuff for the trip. Um, so on the next bit will probably be uh, another video on the trailer. Because today I wasn't able to work on the trailer because I had to do the brakes and that rear diff and all that stuff. Probably could have blew that through that pretty fast, but I don't like to rush everything because it could lead to mistakes, and that mistake could cause me pretty big, you know, between now and Utah. So, anyways, enough of my rambling. Hope you guys are uh, keeping up with the trip and everything that's going on. I'm going to try to keep cranking out as much. Uh, content as possible especially this month and next month and try to keep it up so you guys give me some positive feedback um, other than that drop a like on the video help our algor algorithm up, out if you comment on it um, 
helps the algorithm out. Uh, share it if you're on social media. Just click the share button. Put it on Facebook or whatever it is that you're into. If you are just now getting to this video, these series, or any of these videos that we have, consider subscribing because we greatly appreciate it. Merch link. Merch link down below in the description. If you hit that, helps us out. It's not just for me. Uh, we, you know, It's enough to help the channel out and the channel uh, for the guys. There's quite a few of us in the group. So, like I said before, you're mainly seeing me and talking to me and stuff, but it's going to help us get more involved in everything as a group. So, anyways, peace out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until the next one.